Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, coming to you live from my vacation at the Pokemon Go World Championships. I pre-recorded a bunch of content and I wasn't planning on recording anything, but today you get me on a scuffed phone setup because the biggest update Go Battle League has ever seen has been announced. Before we even get to the massive amount of move updates, we have to talk about a core game mechanic that is changing, and that is the Switch Timer. The switch timer throughout the entirety of Go Battle League, with the exception of one April Fool's event, has been 60 seconds. In the next season, it's being switched to 50 seconds. This may not seem like a big change, but what it's going to allow is incredibly dynamic gameplay where you're stuck in bad matchups for a lot less time. So overall, this is an incredibly cool adjustment. And as they mentioned, it's going to take place for the season. And then they will react to feedback and decide whether they want to keep it going forward. But right off the bat, I'm incredibly excited for this, as this should make it harder to lose based off of just alignment. And now let's talk about the attack changes. And oh my goodness, buckle your seatbelts, because the meta you thought you knew is no longer. First off, Rockside getting a 10 damage nerf from 75 to 65, hurting stuff like Vigoroth. Wing attack, energy generation nerfed hurting stuff like Gligar, of course, being the top meta, Counter getting nerfed, hurting Vigoroth again and Annihilate, Dig getting nerfed, the double nerf to Gligar, but it's not all nerfs. Let's take a look at a buff here. Parabolic Charge, Dedene has it, Heliolisk has it, more damage, less energy, and a chance to buff your defense. Body Slam getting a nerf, a triple Vigoroth nerf. So many of these limited metas turn into Vigoroth Cups. Niantic says not anymore. Also a Lickitung nerf. Swift is now going to be 35 energy. This is a slight buff to Wigglytuff. Mudshot is getting a rework. More damage, but less energy generation. Overall, it's expected to be a slight nerf. Future Sight doing 10 less damage. Shouldn't impact things too much. It'll mainly just make Cresselia run Moonblast instead. Fire Spin getting a buff. Helping stuff in the Master League, like Solgaleo and Heatran, or in the Great League, Alolan Marowak. Steel Wing getting nerfed, this is to target Skarmory. Metal Claw getting its energy generation increased is a really interesting change. Trailblaze, energy cost decreased is quite nice. They gave Trailblaze to a ton of mons in a previous update, but Trailblaze was pretty bad. Trailblaze now getting better. Here is the Registeel nerf. Debuffing the opponent's attack chance has been decreased. And now, let's nerf Grass Hole. Smackdown, less damage. Razor Leaf, less damage. Niantic doing their part to make people stop running these toxic teams. Astonish getting a huge buff from 9 damage to 12. That is a massive update. Fairy Wind getting more damage from 3 to 4. This will help mons like, let's say, Galarian Weezing and, of course, Whimsicott. Karate Chop energy generation increased. And keep that in mind, that's going to be added to stuff. Mudslap, a big buff, 11 to 12 damage, energy generation increased. Poison Sting from 3 to 4 damage. That will help mons like Drapion and Claude Zire. Psywave, it was introduced last season. It was pretty bad. It's getting a buff. Rollout, getting a big buff from 5 damage to 8. That's going to help our good friend Mr. Dunsparce. And we have Sucker Punch. This buff is massive. From 5 damage to 8 damage, this turns Sucker Punch into a clone of what is currently counter before the nerf. Sky Attack, big nerf. Increase in damage, but increase in energy as well. Surf, increase in energy, increase in damage as well to make it less spammy. Bone Club, big buff. Hello Alolan Marowak from 40 to 55. Brutal Swing gets cheaper in energy and less damage. This is going to mean that the Brutal Swing mons like Guzzlord are now even spammier. Nightshade, 60 damage to 80. Energy cost decreased. Nightshade becomes a clone of our current move, Dig. Power Gem, increase in damage, 80 to 85. Energy cost decreased. Shadow Sableye stocks are up. Big buff for Shadow Punch, 40 damage to 55. And believe it or not, there is still more. There's a bunch of attack availability updates to get to, but before I even cover that, I just want to give my thoughts on the massive changes that we've discussed. To me, this update shows that Niantic very clearly felt that power creep had become a big problem in Go Battle League. We were running into a situation after buffing a lot of mons for many, many seasons where the meta was almost a bit 
too good. Stuff like Shadow Gligar to the point where even Gligar up energy could beat stuff like Azumarill, which had a type advantage over it, but Gligar's energy and pacing was just unbelievable. And stuff like Vigoroth, every limited meta Vigoroth was in, it was a Vigoroth meta. And that gets tiring after a while. So they're very clearly saying the meta and just... Everything as a whole is a little bit too good. Let's lower the power level. Let's knock out a lot of these top meta picks, nerfing good moves like counter, body slam, nerfing stuff like steel wing, nerfing sky attack again, just to really allow other Pokemon the ability to shine and really providing a refresh go battling experience. I do think, honestly, the biggest change as well will be that 50-second switch timer. You're not going to be stuck in bad matchups for as long. And that, combining with a drastically new meta, I think is going to honestly be a really terrific experience. Attack availability updates. Ledian gets counter. I'm thrilled with this. I've wanted a new fast move for forever. Volt Switch Fortress. Force Palm getting a couple mons. Breloom, Hariyama, and Menshao. Clefable getting Draining Kiss. Togetic getting Draining Kiss. Ribombi getting Draining Kiss. Now, Draining Kiss isn't buffed in this update, but as we've seen, if they hand out a move to a bunch of mons and it's bad, it's probably getting buffed in the future. Tapu Lele, Draining Kiss. Pangoro getting Karate Chop. We've never had a fighter be the top fighter without counter. And they're clearly saying the time of counter is past. The time of Karate Chop is here. Licky Licky getting Rollout. Spirit Tomb, Rock Tomb, Dust Noir getting the newly buffed Shadow Punch that does a lot more damage. Galarian Slowbro, the newly updated Brutal Swing. Tropius gets Steel Coverage with Brutal Swing. Menshao gets Brutal Swing. Oranguru gets Brutal Swing. Passimian finally gets a Charge Attack that is not a fighting move. It gets Brutal Swing as well. Runo Regis gets a true bait move in Brutal Swing. Hisuian Typhlosion gets Nightshade. Keep in mind, Nightshade is a Ghost-type clone of what Dig is in the current season. It's a very good move. Being given to Hisuian Typhlosion, Zoroark, and finally, Hisuian Decidueye. And now that we have all the move update info, I do want to briefly look through PV Poke and take a look at some mons that are going to benefit from these move buffs. First off, Sucker Punch. Some mons that have it, like Trevenant and Gengar already have Shadow Claw, so it doesn't really affect them. But let's look at the mon in the middle here. Furfru. Furfru is a mon that is getting a seriously strong fast move here. Sucker Punch, a dark type clone of counter pre-nerf. Furfru could look really interesting. Galarian Moltres, Wing Attack getting nerfed, but with Sucker Punch, a Dark-type clone of Counter, this is going to be an incredibly fun mod. I'm going to have to try and get one. Spinda, Low Kicks, Furret, Spiritomb. There are some really interesting mods here. Next up, Mudslap. Mudslap getting a buff in energy and damage. As far as the open Great League goes, the best bet is probably going to be Gastrodon. Outside of that, it's a lot spicier picks. But if you take a look at Master League, Rhyperior should be a force to be reckoned with, with a massive buff to its fast move, and Landorus having worse pacing due to the rework of Mudshot. So overall, there's some fun spicy picks there, but I am very excited to see what Rhyperior can do in the Master League. And finally, Astonish. We know it's been buffed time and time again, but this buff is a big one. Runarigas and Kofagrigas already have Shadow Claw. Same with Haunter. Dunsparce will be interesting. Rollout also getting a buff. Driftblim. Hex versus Astonish. I think Astonish will just strictly be better now. Palisand has a wide variety of different fast moves it can use. Amoongus is a very interesting one. Golurk, Mudslap, and Astonish both getting buffed. Klefki, which I just ran, also getting buffed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is sincerely appreciated. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.